Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, this is Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So I had another plan of a video. I had one done on a theological topic. I was actually showing you my church and what our church does. However, I wasn't real happy with how it came out and so I'm gonna redo it. I don't wanna just put it out and have something low quality put forth. Uh, so instead, I off the cuff, I decided to show you the second half of my cellar. If you recall, about a couple months ago, I did a video on my cellar showing you the English Oriental Turkish side of what I have in my cellar. So today, I'm going to show you the second half, which I've had questions about. This is going to be my aromatics, my burleys, my Virginia Periques, Virginia, those, those things. So uh, without further ado, let's get started and I'll just let you know, apologize for the shaky camera and uh, apologize for the audio. Neither will be too great. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you real quick though. Up top, I have my pipes. Now you can see not all my pipes are on there. Um, some need to be cleaned and some I'm using right now. So there are some missing right there. You see some other ones. One day I'll go through those, so don't, don't focus too much on those. Um, and then I have two unopened tins right here that I got through trades. Uh, so that's Aaron Moore, which is dated 2012, which is pretty great. Uh, now, I haven't even tried Aramore yet, but I, I want to get a fresher tin of Aramore. I didn't want to open this yet. Uh, that's going to be for a special occasion. I'm not sure the date of this University Flake, but since it is a square tin, I know it's at least a couple of years old uh, because they stopped making them. So anyway, I'm going to pause this, open my cellars down here, as you can see, and uh, I'll show you through them. All right. All right, so here we go. So I'm showing the top portion. Uh, this top portion here is all aromatics. And that's all I really smoke. I don't smoke a lot of aromatics. I don't care for many aromatic blends. So I am going to, uh, I, you know, I keep them isolated up here. So uh, what I have here, I bought a load of, or sample size of the Middle Earth blends coming out from Country Squire. So here's one second breakfast, and I'm going to have a video coming out this week on one of them. So stay tuned for that this Friday. Uh, I have an amalgam of a couple of samples I just threw in here because I was low on jars. So it's not Presbyterian, it's something else. I don't know what it is. Um, my hands are kind of tied up, so I can't show you, but it's it's just some aromatic blends. Uh, Sudliff Holiday Mixture. Uh, let's see, we got an unopened tin of David Off Dan Danish mixture. I want to do a video on that here soon. A great listener sent me a homemade Hobbit's Weed crumble cake. It has five years age on it. Um, I did try some of it. It's fantastic. And this was put out by Grateful Piper. So Grateful Piper, I, I think I told you already, but thank you again for that. Um, it was a great blend you did there. I appreciate it. Uh, Rivendell. Country Squire. I actually haven't tried that yet. What do we got here? Old Toby. I haven't tried Old Toby yet either. This is some pumpkin spice. So just about, I don't know, ounce and a half ounce there. Probably just an ounce. All right. And then we got some Autumn Evening. Some Eileen's Dream. Not much left. I don't smoke much of it anymore. And uh, some Virginia Cream, which I've reviewed before. All right, so there is my Virginias, or excuse me, aromatics. Um, that's about all the aromatics I need. That's more aromatics than I need because I just don't smoke them enough. So let's get down to Virginia Periques. These are opened Virginia Periques. Of course, you have Solani H. Burley. Um, that's just there because I don't really have a place for just Burley. So that's why it's there. But that should be the only Burley here. Um, a couple of blends in this as well uh h&h &H rustica is just like a couple of um couple of uh flakes that someone sent me and that is plantation evening i believe so i didn't have enough jars that's why it's in there once again um cornell and dill smoking pipes double x flake that's the light version there's the dark version right here as you can see so I'll have those set aside. Hello the Wind by Rat Race. Esoterica Dunbar. So I have some of that coming in from a trade. 
I uh, try to be sparingly with that. It's, I don't know, there's a ounce and a half of that maybe there. Um, what do I have here? Bag end. So there's another Middle Earth. This is when I got in. Taps VIP. Um, they don't, I don't know if they make it anymore. Uh, I, I'm going to do a review on it eventually, but uh, that's all I have left. I haven't seen anyone hold it anymore or make it any, uh, carry it anymore by Daughters and Ryan. So bear that in mind. And Firestorm. I don't know how much of that either. So that's another vapor. So down here we have Virginia Blends. So from a trade I got, LJ Peretti, 150 anniversary flake. Green Dragon, that's another Middle Earth blend. I will review shortly. King's Foil, Middle Earth, Middle Earth blend. Uh, yeah, that is some Bright Virginia, I believe. Yep, Bright Virginia from Cornell and Dale. So I pack, I bought a a load of Bright and Red Virginias recently, or b back earlier this year, for cellaring and eventual. Um, eventual blending, uh, just occasionally. So I, I probably bought too much. Yorktown, I did a video of that. I don't smoke much of it anymore. There is more Red Virginia right there. Not exciting. Opening night, right here. I've reviewed that one, I believe. I th believe, maybe. That is Red Virginia. Nope. Yeah, Red Virginia. So not exciting. And Embarcadero, which I've already... Reviewed, so you should be able to access that one. All right, so let me throw these in real quick. All right, so now to the more interesting part. Everyone loves to see the... Let me get something out of the way here. Again, sorry for the shaky camera. I know that's not real fun to watch. So here's the more interesting part. These are mostly 10s. So bear with me on this one. All right. So I have some more Red Virginia, not interesting. I have some Bright Virginia, not interesting. All right, I have some Izmir from Cornell and Dale Turkish and some Oriental Silk. Never tried either of those. This will be for blending. This eventually I'll open up. I just haven't gotten to it yet because I have so many other things to open up. Uh, back here, I have a blend that I never heard of before and I have ne still haven't tried. It was sent to me by a listener who gratefully blessed me with some blends. This is one of them, Pure Samoy, Vincent Manil, um, made in Belgium, I guess. And uh, I look forward to trying it because it is quite unique from what it sounds like. Back here, you see some Sixpence. I haven't tried Sixpence. Some Telegraph Hill by GLPs. Those are two blends I have not tried. Um, you have some Bijou. Stonehenge Flake, you guys know how much I love that. And some 20th Anniversary Double X Flake. Now, uh, what do we have here? Oh, some more Bright Virginia. Like I said, I have a load of it. All right, so I'm going to let you know something real quick. This is how I kind of structure all these the uh, these shelves. This is stuff I'll more recently or I'll, I'll are closer to being tried. Um, these, these are things I would pull out first. Then second tier is more long-term storage. And I say long-term between like a year to two years. This stuff down here is long-term storage. I will not try for a long time. Um, I'm thinking like, so three years onward. Um, they, they won't be pulled out unless I really need them or I want to enjoy them. Um, or eventually maybe some of them will be moved up to this slot. So um, I kind of just cycle through these uh the shelves and, and try to have an order of some sort. So just FYI. Um, I have some Escudo Navy Deluxe that a listener sent me. The Prati, haven't tried. Elizabeth, uh, Elizabethan Mixture and Peterson Flake. University Flake. University Flake. All right. So those are things I'd more... Uh, I'll try here in, in the near future. I'll go ahead and leave those out. All right, so second tier. So I have this bigger jar of Fillmore that I reviewed. So you can see here, that's uh, I still have a decent amount of that, at least six ounces. 
What I have here is Union Square. So I still have this. Uh, that's that GLP's Navigator. I'm going to put that back in the cellar until I get some newer stuff. I want to let that cellar a little bit more. And this is Old Dark Fire. I, I rarely use this because it's just so heavy for me uh, on nicotine. I love it. I love the flavor. It's just too much. So occasionally I'll mix it up with some Bright Virginia and uh, give it a go. Here's a stack that was sent to me of Elizabethan mixture, which I was really grateful for. And here we got Davidoff Flake Medallions, a Scudo, Davidoff, Irish Flake, Kringle Flake, Holiday 2019 edition, that's a Red Virginia Flake, and University Flake. So out here, I don't have to pull many of these out except this one. This is some Astley's uh, Stowed Virginias. You can tell where my heart is on that Stonehenge Flake, as you can see. And then I have that 20th anniversary. That's the Dark Flake. I got some Carolina Reds. Got some Bijou. I got an unopened tin of Opening Night. So there you have it there. Let me get some of this out of the way so I can open up more. Sorry about this. All right. So, finally, down here, this is the long-term storage. I got some McClellan's Matured Flake, um, five-year-old. That's number, oh, sorry, number 27. Not much of it, just barely any. I'll probably use it up here soon. Uh, shortcut to mushrooms. That's a aromatic blend. It's five years of age. Not much. I haven't even tried it yet. Some Dunhill three-year Virginia. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of it, but uh, I figured I'd give it some age. Here's an old, older can of Escudo. I'm going to set that aside for some years. One can of Orlick left. Um, I figured I'd give it some time to mature as well or age. Salani Burley Flake. That actually will probably go up because um, I really enjoy it. University Flake. P uh, Peter Stokeby Luxury Flake. Uh, that's that's one that needs some time to, to cellar. And I hear it's a wonderful cellaring blend. McClellan's uh, Blackwoods Flake. That has five years on it already. Marlin Flake by Rat Rays. Stonehenge. Um, this is going to be a little more difficult to get out everything. Um, here's some old gallery. So Savinelli, as you can see there, some more 20th. Stonehenge, uh, Stonehenge, Stonehenge, Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Some, one of these Stonehenges is 2017, so it has a few here. Someone gave that to me, or traded it to me, rather. Let me get some of this out of your way, or out of the way here. Crinkle Flake. University, more Kringle, University. Let's see if you can tell what we have here. All right, so um, over here we have a stack of the lighter double X flake from Cornell and Dill and smoking pipes. That's the darker right there, you can see right in front. And then over here you have up top a 20th light flake and then some Carolina red flake. Sorry, this is horrible. Look, a horrible shot. I apologize. And then you have some more Carolina red flake small batch. So guys, there you have it. That's that's what I got. Um, this is why I will not be buying any more anytime soon, or I'm trying not to. The only one, only blends I'll buy from now on is for sampling. Um, to, to review for you guys. So uh, if you see something that piques your interest to review here, hey, let me know. I'm happy to review it, uh, pull it out, try some, and uh, let you guys know what, uh, what it tastes like and maybe give you some insight. So uh, I hope you guys have a great week. This week I'll have a review coming out on Middle Earth Blend, so I'm looking forward to that. And um, I, I think it'll be a, an interesting video. So y'all take care. We'll talk to you soon.